We welcome you to this week's edition of Behind Enemy Lines, presented by Microsoft Teams. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith, and we're very pleased to be joined by a guy who's an outstanding reporter for the Houston Chronicle, covering the Houston Texans, Aaron Wilson. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Aaron, I want to start and talk about the Houston Texans and their victory over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Was that the real shot in the arm that this Houston team needed to get something rolling? Right, just not to have a terrible, terrible season, at least to win one football game, and they hope to win more. Will we see a change in the style of football that Romeo Cornell has them play offensively? I thought they had a more straightforward game plan. They made it less complicated, and it worked. And they also made it a big priority to throw the football to Brandon Cooks. One week before that game, he had three targets and no catches. Then he catches eight passes, 161 yards, his first touchdown since the trade that brought him to Houston. As you know, they traded DeAndre Hopkins in the offseason, so they've been trying to fill that void with other guys. And this was Brandon's best game. And Will Fuller also caught a touchdown. So they are you know, going to emphasize those two wide receivers. And I think you know, they'll run the football a little bit better. David Johnson, who had struggled for weeks, had his best game of the season, 96 yards. Some of it's a byproduct of, obviously, the Jaguars aren't a great team. We'll see if it's as effective against really good teams like the Titans. Let's talk defense. It seems like, even with all the changes, the number one tenant of this Houston Texans defense continues to be pressure. They do get after the quarterback in a pretty good way. They have J.J. Watt, obviously, three-time NFL defense player of the year. They have Whitney Merciless. He had a really slow start, but he has three sacks in the past two games. They've done a better job of getting to the quarterback recently. Jacob Martin is a good sub rusher. He was part of the Jadavian Clowney trade. He's very fast off of the edge, and you know, he's gained, I think, 20 pounds since last season, hasn't sacrificed any speed, had a big play this past game with a sack and forced fumble. What they haven't done is stop the run. That's the biggest problem. They were last and run defense heading into this past game and that's been a real struggle is tackling. Aaron Wilson, Houston Chronicle, thank you for taking us behind enemy lines presented by Microsoft Teams.